Hello ladies and gents, Ro here, and welcome to Neuron Films. Today we're going to continue our Final Cut Pro 10.2.1 tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to remove deleted or uh, rejected clips within Final Cut Pro to free up more space on your computer. There will be a part two to this tutorial. Um, if you're looking for a more in-depth of how to actually go into the packages of Final Cut Pro and uh, go into the actual uh, folders and delete footage from there and all the render files because uh, Final Cut Pro actually ends up using a lot of data on your, in space on your computer so you want to eventually clear that out when you're done using it. So let's go ahead and uh, I want to apologize ahead of time if I say iMovie because I, I previously made a lot of iMovie tutorials now I'm doing a Final Cut Pro um, tutorials so um, bear with me we are talking about Final Cut Pro here. So let's go ahead and uh, get started so I'm here in my library and in my event for example I have a clip here and uh, I want to delete it completely so we're gonna go ahead and select that clip and we're gonna just actually let's just do it to this here yeah, just do a clip I'm gonna select this clip and I hit delete as you notice it just completely disappeared including in here you can go ahead and I'm actually gonna drag this over here and I'm gonna go ahead and delete it and uh, also you can just delete anything from here. You'll notice the image is still here, but I mean, well, that's not the image we deleted, but it was a clip. Now you'll notice that you think you deleted it. You might have moved it to trash, but if you go up here, hide rejected, go to rejected. Uh, most of the time, it will end up in your trash, but sometimes it only simply rejects the clip. Meaning, uh, it would most likely only do this is because you're you're still using the clip, for example, somewhere in your actual projects, or your the clip was. Um, it just it still got some kind of data left over like I said in your projects but it will just be moved to your rejected clips that way it's not officially deleted and moved to the trash but now in order to completely delete it um, you can go ahead and uh, select the clip you can right click it and then move to trash or you sh yeah just you can right click it go to move to trash if you're on a laptop like I am you can put two fingers down on them on the touchpad and press in it'll give you the same option of, as right click also you can go to file and then move to trash as well but also you'll notice if you have if you went into reject area and you found some clips that says missing file that means you these are clips you actually moved to trash before and you've deleted them or and to trash never let you delete them officially or let's say that you did delete them you succeeded so they appear as missing file like this in final cut and uh, it's recommended you delete these and move them completely trash that way uh, it just it just frees up more space on your computer and there you have it that's the basics you guys once you go ahead once you selected a clip and then you moved to trash or and you thought okay it's gone and I freed up more space and go ahead and empty your trash but you want to also go check your rejected and uh, go ahead and uh, delete the clips from here completely then they'll be um, then it's actually recommended also you sh uh, close out of Final Cut Pro completely and then go ahead and empty out your trash. That way uh, it will let you, because um, sometimes if you have Final Cut Pro uh, running and then you go to empty your trash, it says that this file or that is still being used. That's because Final Cut Pro is still open and it's using that file. When you close it and you empty the trash, it should be all smooth and easy from there. But that's the basics of, of within Final Cut Pro, how to delete and uh, remove clips. Be sure to leave, um, click on the link in the description for how to in-depthly go to the actual pack folders to delete and remove more storage space on your computer. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next tutorial and later. So let my life be the proof.